these fix it uh scrape that house build that house demo that house you know you name it flip that house they're everywhere hey guys mark max the local real estate expert here in san diego and today we're gonna have a little fun you guys have been asking and today we're gonna do a react video for modern family probably one of my favorite shows you gotta love some Phil Dunphy, man. That guy does not mess around. So let's jump right in. I am so sorry, Phil, that I wasted your whole day, but I am more sorry of what I'm gonna do to your car! Gloria, we're above that, but not everyone would be. You should uh, put that beauty in your garage. I don't have one. Oh, really? Just out of curiosity, do you not have a garage because you converted it into the guest house where your grandson's currently showering? What's your game, mister? <laughs> the old. Do you not have a garage based on the conversion? I mean, pretty good sales tactic. I like that, Phil. I like that. Let's see where this goes. Mister. I just find it interesting that you have a fully plumb standalone dwelling on your property. That's none of your business. Even more peculiar, your grandson appears to live here, but judging by his t-shirt, he goes to Eden Mills High, an elite public school 12 miles outside of your district. Oh, maybe with the money you saved on private schools, you paid for the new two-sided brick fireplace I saw, which hasn't been legal since 1988. Go, Phil, go! Pull the sauce, Big Al. All right, so he came at some good tactics. Obviously, one of the main things, I have two kids, nine and seven, Mason and Miles. Um, schools were huge in the district that I was, that we live. So obviously, that's one of the main driving factors. If you have kids, you wanna buy something that's in a great area, great proximity, because the easier it is to get to that school, easier it is to get activities, sports, all that stuff, the more you're gonna love it. So I like that, Phil. You gotta stick within your neighborhood and stick with those great schools. The city's here with a bulldozer and your grandson goes to a school with a metal detector. How do you know all this? What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Oh, he's a realtor. There is a difference somehow. <laughs> I love her. Um, I, I don't think there's really a difference between a real estate agent and a realtor. Um, I may have to look that up. Bring up some good points. I love the fact that ADU, Accessory Dwelling Unit, it's a separate structure that you can add to a property, increase value, use it as a potential rental unit, but also have the grandson in there, so. Final lesson, always be willing to walk away. So my dad actually did teach me that back in the day. You have to be willing to walk away. And if you can walk away, hopefully they'll call you back, but if not, the sale wasn't meant to I be. I come to you first because we're old friends. It's Lon. Yeah, hey, look, the steep price on this one, but don't blame me. I'm pocketing less than the kids that, you know, made this thing. The Beagle has landed. Sorry, Jay, none of these are selling. Even the ones that look like hotcakes? Maybe a puppy will cheer you up. I told you, not gonna happen. All right, so we all know that puppies will cheer you up. We recently, during the pandemic, got a puppy. Love that thing like no other, so Anytime you spin a puppy into the aspect, and we've done this a few times, clients have come over, they're like, we need a little bit more yard. So then you take them to a property that has like this beautiful lawn, and you're like, oh, think about Fido or <laughs> Frodo in this backyard, just enjoying cruising around real grass. Keeping so up. I, I love it. I can't give these things away. Forget everything I taught you today. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, Mr. My dad was about to give you the deal of a lifetime. 100 dog beds for 100 bucks. So you can give one away with each new dog. 100 bucks, huh? I can see you're not serious. Fill down that tail, buddy. This is leaving with me. Behold the unsellable house. Two years on the market, it's crushed the soul of every real estate agent in town. All right, so the unsellable house. In this market, there's no such thing. Believe it or not. It doesn't happen. Although the team of ladies that I work with, Maxine and Marty, we have had some homes that have been on the market three, four, five, six, and upwards of seven years. We consider them unsaleable. A lot of times what happens, it's not they're unsaleable, it's the dang price. Price and motivation determines the sale. So anyway, let's watch. And you're this going to love your very own 
Man cave closet. Man closet. <laughs> Man. Uh, basements. All right, so, you know, funny thing is, is, is I actually have a man closet. My wife, it's on the patio. We used to have a surfboard in there. We used to have a ice chest, and that was it. I had a good friend of mine come over. We remodeled it. I have a TV. I have a stereo. I have some red Solo cups, and I have a refrigerator. It's a man closet, so they do exist. I got a basement for you. Watch your step coming down. Because it's a finished basement, you can actually count the square. Huh. I don't think this house is kid friendly. Well, you said it yourself when we were taking the tow rope up the driveway. This this house looks like a weird <laughs> spaceship. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I've done a few tow ropes. I don't know if anyone else has, but being born and raised in Alaska, that was our first means to get up the hill was a tow rope. Then we did go to a, a, a chairlift, which is great, but I've never seen one of those at a house. It's like being on a submarine, right? <laughs> you guys uh, fans of Tom Clancy? <laughs> How did we get on the second floor? Isn't it great? There's an imperceptible rise. <laughs> imperceptible rise. I've never actually said that at a house, but realistically, uh, yeah, I don't think this thing's childproof. So you guys can either reverse course or take turns sliding down the fireman's pole. Far from the shallow now. <laughs> In the shallow, What are you doing? Man, oh man, that, that's taking technology to the next level right there. I mean, with some of these new appliances, Alexa, Siri, I mean, it, it's going over the top, which is absolutely awesome. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be in front of my refrigerator singing a duet, but man, I guess hey. you're going to power ballad shallow are you just singing a duet with the refrigerator well um yeah I've, apparently bridget has a karaoke function so i was just standing here eating my turkey and apple sandwich when suddenly apples she, on a sandwich yeah, yeah bridget she, she's opening me up to to new experiences oh yeah <laughs> sounds like something my wife would do you know you come home and i'm like hey what's for dinner honey and you know obviously these new technology and all these crazy fridges and whatnot telling her what to cook I don't know. I I'm gonna pass oh, on that. Aren't you, uh, <laughs> aren't you supposed to be at work? Well, I came home to make you a special lunch, but apparently that's already been taken care of. Mitchell, would you like some watermelon for dessert? No, that's okay, Bridget. Thank you. I just got him some fresh cantaloupe, so we're good. Mitchell doesn't like cantaloupe. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Of course he does. Uh, actually, I, I, I've never been a fan. Really? What else does Bridget know about you that I don't? Is she allowed to meet your work friends? You can't seriously be jealous. No, well, it's just that I thought we were gonna enjoy her together. I didn't count on being the third wheel. Cam. No, no, it's obvious that I'm not wanted here, so. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe technology is going too far, man. And then next thing you know, you're, you're, you're having a battle with your significant other over a refrigerator. Oh man, I don't need a Bridget in my life, no way. So on sandwiches and Whatever other perversions you two are into. Are you hearing yourself? It's a refrigerator. Do you see what I mean about him? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. There's the guy who hosts that home makeover show we love Why? so much. It's Scott Hunter. Scott Hunter is right over there. <gasps> Every week, Scott Hunter, the host of I Beg Your Garden, selects an unsuspecting couple at a home store. So obviously, the, these, these fix it, uh, scrape that house, build that house, demo that house, you know, you name it, flip that house, they're everywhere. So, you know, there are a couple of great ones out there, but obviously these guys are going crazy for this guy. I'm, I'm anxious to see what he's suspecting here. couple at a home store. Yeah, he taps him on the shoulder and says, I beg your garden. What? Oh my God, I can't believe it! That's how it goes every time. Every time. Where are the cameras? I know, I wish I would have worn something more colorful. Okay, you know what? We have to get on the show. Can you imagine a backyard makeover, what he would do with ours? Yeah, one word, three syllables. Starts with ga, ends with gazebo. Gazebo. I love gazebos. I do too. Now that I'm thinking about it, I have to have one. Oh my gosh. I mean, we work hard. We deserve to stand in the shade a few inches off the ground. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's go get tapped. <laughs> gazebo. Gotta love those. I've never heard it described as standing off the you know, three inches off the ground and giving you a little bit of shade. That's, that's a good good twist. What's like over it. here? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Mitchell, do you like this planner? 
It would go great in our hopelessly outdated and neglected backyard. I love it, if you love it. And what do you think of these pavers? Oh, I think they'd go great with that gazebo we've always dreamed oh, of having. Oh, forget he's gone. Oh, what did we do wrong? We were pleasant. All right, so the funny part about this, my wife and I were actually on a reality TV show. It was called My First Home, and they staged it as we were looking to buy. I was the one that was looking for a lot more expensive home. My wife was looking for something not so expensive, which is completely the opposite. Um, I was trying to show her bigger properties. She wanted something smaller. So we settled on something that we already owned and we acted as that we just bought it. We, acted as we went through escrow, we acted. So these shows are great. They are a little bit staged here and there. I know that from, you know, personally being on one. I don't know if you ever saw it because it aired probably 14 years ago. But anyway, uh, great times. Love these guys. All right, that show is absolutely hilarious. Modern family, baby. You gotta love it. You know, some accurate, some not so accurate. But hey, you can never go wrong with modern family. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified about all these great videos. Much appreciated.